Hi everybody, I'm Nick Mahasevic, VP of Sales here at M-Line. Today I'm going to talk about the four major types of packaging foams that are used. The first type of foam I'm going to show you is EPS, which is expanded polystyrene. As you can see, EPS is fairly rigid. Uh, EPS is the least expensive type of packaging foam. If you mold it, it drives the piece cost way down. However, you need some fairly high volumes. EPS is great for an economical alternative with a low cost and again, great for blocking and bracing. Second type of packaging foam, this is polyethylene. It has very good cushioning properties and very good vibration dampening properties. Polyethylene is an average price foam. You'll, it's very common because of its price point and its cushioning and vibration properties. The next type of foam I'd like to show you is polyurethane. This is an example of uh, convoluted polyurethane. And as you can see, it has a sponge-like feel. This is a fabricated piece of polyurethane. This is polyurethane foam in a case. The fourth type of packaging foam that's very common, this is Crosslink polyethylene. As you can see, Crosslink polyethylene has a very smooth feel to it, and it's used for Class A surface protection. And it also is very durable, so it's used in returnable dunnage. It's perfect for water jet cutting, and you can get some very narrow cavities. Crosslink polyethylene is the most expensive type of foam, but it also has some of the best properties. So those are the four major types of foam. Again, there's EPS, there's polyethylene, there's polyurethane, and there is cross-link polyethylene. So these are all good options for you. If you have any questions, please contact your M-Line sales rep, our in-house engineering department, and you can also always visit our website at m-line.com. We'll hope to work with you soon on one of your projects.